Okay, so going to the solution no, of this number. Again, we start here with R2 and R3 to find no, their combined value. So their combined value will use the concept of parallel connection. No? And to get the value of that, no, so 1 over R23, no? I call it R23 because it's the combined no, value of these two resistors. No? That will be equivalent to 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. No? Okay, so the value here is equivalent to 1 over 50 plus 1 over 120. No? Okay, so I'm going now, um, can you please add for me no, this fraction? So I think no, medyo na medyo ako na ang value sa fraction natin. If, you, if someone could add that one for me, please. No? Calculator. I need to counter check my answer. Huh? I have here no? I have here 17 over 600 no? so therefore guys if I will solve R23 no? then that will be 600 divided by 17 no? and that gives me if I divide 600 by 17 That gives me na thirty five point twenty nine. Na. Okay, so please check na. Somebody is chatting. Thank you na for the answer, uh, Kar Ivan. That's correct. So I just use not two decimal places here. So. Uh, it's nice that you practice your calculator. No, I always not tell my class practice your calculator because uh, in the event now that you will use it, no, hindi na kamo mamangkot ko din i on bala no. I always find it no, uh, and, and somehow no, though matingal ako na there are times when I have this face to class class no, and uh, during examination time the student will ask me how to turn on the calculator no. So the calculator itself, ginhulami lang guro. And uh, of course, no, that's the problem. When you borrow the calculator, you don't know where to press. No? So the, the best way really to use the calculator is to no, to practice it. No? So during our class time, it's highly advisable that you no, tinker with your calculator. No? You use your calculator. Now, uh, let's go to another one. No? So our total now can be calculated. No? We just use that as R total. So that will be R1 plus, guys, no, R23. No? So 23 is the combined value of 35.29. No? So R1 is 80 plus no, 35.29. No? And that gives me how much is my value now? Plus 80. So that gives me 115.29, of course. Uh, oops, uh, okay. Okay, so did you get our total? So the, the first one that we saw was the last item that we are asking here, not in the problem. Now, uh, how significant is that? So it will now allow us to find the uh, I1. Uh, I sub 1, guys, is equals to I total. Uh, and why do we say that? Because after combining R23, so if you have now R23 here, no? just imagine this. No? So if this is R23, no? the combined value of R1 and R2 and R3 no? and R4. Ako tingog na ni sila. You know, this is a series na nikaroon sila nga duwa di sang R1 and R23. No? So R23, you know, after 
combining these two will now become this 35.29 ohms, which is in series to R1. That's why to get R total, you add that. Eh, no? So this is the thing that gives us no, the knowledge nga i add na to, no? because they are in series. No? Now, R I total, guys, will be no, equivalent to Vt no, divided by RT. No? And Vt over RT is equal to, no? so the total voltage is 18 volts. Then we divide it with R total, which is 115, no? 129. And that gives us, I'm sorry. So we calculated R total. I don't know. So that, that's right. That's right. So this is now equal to what? So that's a small value, no? Very small, no? 18 divided by 115.29. That gives me 0 0.15.16. Okay, so A, the ampere. And we calculated the second item or the first item already. Huh? Okay, question so far. So this is the, the second item, guys. No? And the last one, how about the last one? Huh? How about the last one? So V V1, who can give me the expression for V1? No? What's V1? No? V1, basing on Ohm's law, will be I1 times R, R1. No? You will multiply simply the value. So that will be 0 0.16 ampere no? multiplied by R1, which is 80. Ohms. Okay. And obviously, we will now be able to get our answer here. Na? So that's 0. 0.16 times 80. We have 12.49. And that will be in volts. Na? Okay. So, so somehow, uh, 18 in here, no? we see here that the supply voltage is 18. This one is 12. If if the values of the voltage is simply split no, between R23 value, no? meaning R23 balang 35, no, 0.29. So the other remaining voltage of 18 will be placed here. No? Kay duwama lang sila. The other value in it, 12 volts in it. No? So 12, no? Kuni minus, muna sa 18, mayara, kada guro nga pila. 5, 5 point, no? 5.51. So 5.51 ini ang voltage siya. Ini 12.49. No? Okay? So again, no? uh, if you add them together according to Ohm's law or to series no? or to uh, voltage na in series, then it will be adding up to 18 volts. No? Okay, so this is the three expressions. Any question from, from the class? No? So basically, we call this as electrical power no? and uh, the product of current and voltage no? or the potential difference. No? That's why we have the symbol there, delta V, because maybe they, they call it as the potential difference. No? So uh, the product of V and I together gives you electrical power which will have a unit in what? So ampere and volts, no? Ampere and volts or volt ampere is equivalent to watts. Now, uh, there is a, an expression, guys, no? That uh, we also have, no? For Ohm's law. So if Ohm's law, no? Is telling us that V is equals to I times R, no? And if somehow... If from our previous expression, no, if B is V times I, no, ko lang na, no, I just simply reverse I and V. No? And if, again, no, if we look at V, guys, no, if you look at V and V from Ohm's law is I times R, and we multiply this with another value I. No? So if you look at power, no, power is V, which is equal to IR times another 
i, no? which is another current. No? And therefore, if we will try to use this principle i times i, no? then we will eventually have no? a value in i square. No? We are going to square i and we will multiply it to resistance. No? So that's the that's the reason why now we have this expression i square r. No? So we can simply eventually multiply i times i, and that gives you i square there. No? Okay. So uh, that's the power now in also in watts. No? Now if instead of uh, if instead of v now that we replace, if you are going to replace the value now of of i, and again i no. So for power, so if power is V times I and instead of replacing uh, V, now we replace I and I on based on Ohm's law is V over R. This is V now times V divided by R. So here we will eventually see also that p can be equated as v square no? divided by r. No? So, pwede man nga ang guaya, v ang aton nga i square nga quantity. No? So, we can square v and then we divide it with r. No? So, manana. so that's, that's the reason why we have these expressions here. And we also have this expression over here. Now, but they, they, come, they, they primarily come from this expression above. No? Now, um, another thing about uh, power, guys, no, our unit of power, no, which is obviously in terms of, of watts. No? So one watt, unit, uh, again, no, unit of power or electrical power is, again, no, watts. And one watt, based on our mechanics, is 1 joule per second. No? That's, our, that's our unit of, of power. So therefore, a joule, 1 joule of energy or work is can be equated as 1 watt no? second. No? So if you multiply seconds and watt together, then that's equals to an energy equal to joule. But a joule, again, is a unit of energy huh? that's the that's the difference here now of our expression now we do not use however now for electrical energy we do not use guys no the expression of uh what second no we don't use that as a unit of energy instead we use kilowatt hour no? so kilowatt hour is something like equivalent to 3.6 no megajoule no? so that's a very big quantity uh, equivalent sang kilowatt hour no but however we can simply change no the unit watts into kilowatt by dividing every watt value by 1000 no? now when we change watt into kilowatt then and and seconds also is changed into an hour no then we can end up also with a unit no kilowatt hour no okay so Again, now the unit of electrical energy can be expressed either as joule. If you make joule in terms of this expression no, in megajoules, no, so 3.6 megajoule basically no, is equal to 1 kilowatt hour. So we can eventually convert no, a joule into a kilowatt hour. No? So a kilowatt hour is not a unit of power, but this is a unit of electrical energy. No? So we need uh, these expressions of energy no? now some other units that we write no sa aton nga power guys no ang one horsepower no? one horsepower is said to be equivalent to 746 watts no or in terms of a kilowatt that's 0 0.746 kilowatt no and i will shorten kilowatt by writing kw no so this is our kilowatt no so we simply divide 746 watts by 1000 so we end up with 0 0.746 no kilowatt no ang equal sang isa ka hp no or horsepower no? okay so what 
what is being uh, what is being uh, transferred no in a circuit uh, actually no what we consume in the circuit is not the current but basically the energy no? the, the electrical energy once it is consumed by the light bulb is is never no returned no to its source no so the 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 current no the electrical current may go back to the source no however the electrical energy does not no? so the the electrical energy once dissipated or consumed no will be changed into a different form so either you change it into heat to sound no in many other forms but it does not return anymore to the source no Okay, now um, let me erase this. No? So I will uh, go into the next slide. No? And in our next slide, no? we will most likely encounter no, this uh, summary. No? So electrical power is VI or maybe I square R or we have V square over R. No? Okay, so these are unit of electrical power. There's also another unit for electrical power, which is 1 HP equals to 0.746 kilowatt. No? And when we have our electrical energy, power, and time, no? if time is in seconds, then power is in watt. So watt seconds is a unit of energy called joule. No? So one joule is one watt second. No? Uh, and then we're asked now our kilowatt R is merely no uh, written in short no like like this one no? but commonly no in our panay electric bill or in our more power electric bill we don't see no joule as a unit of energy there what we see is one kwhr no or kilowatt r no? okay now we will have this electrical power and energy no discussion and i wanted to get uh picture of this no 